Ancient civilizations have always provoked curiosity and continue to raise interest on revealing the secrets from the dawn of humanity. Bulgaria, the heritage of the Thracians. Bulgaria, the oldest state in Europe existing under its original name, is a successor of such an ancient civilization. These are the Thracians, the most multitudinous people in antiquity after the Indians, as Herodotus, the father of history, testified. Their land was named after the legendary nymph Thraki, a healer and a prophet. One of the most popular heroes in the world was the gladiator Spartacus, from the Thracian tribe Maedi, leader of the biggest slave rebellion in the Roman Empire. Orpheus, the most famous musician, healer and philosopher in the ancient world, was also a Thracian. He was born in the Rhodopes, where the mythological story with his wife Eurydice, whom he followed in the underworld, also originally came from. Probably his grave is in the Rhodopes too. Traces from the mythical hero lead to Tatul, a Thracian sanctuary. In the nearby sacred Thracian city of Perpurikon, archaeologists are searching for Dionysius' temple, which was famed in antiquity. According to Herodotus, this god is also of Thracian origin, and his temple in the Rhodopes was as popular as the one of Apollo in Delphi. The Thracian king Teres I, who ruled at the end of the 6th century BC, managed to unite part of the Thracian tribes in the mighty Odrysian kingdom. Nevertheless, the Thracians never did stand together and were never completely united. Soon after the 1st century AD, the Thracian lands were conquered by the Romans. Over the centuries, their tribes were assimilated by the new conquerors and the invading tribes, among which were the Slavic peoples and the Bulgars. Presently, the Thracian civilization does not stop surprising us with its treasures, gradually revealing its secrets. This land is a cradle of the old European culture, developed here millennia before the creation of the Mesopotamian civilizations and those along the Nile. This has been proved by the most ancient gold in the world from the Varna Chalcolithic Necropolis and the treasure from the village of Hotnitsa. The Varna treasure also accounts for the biggest quantity of ancient gold from the 5th millennium BC, consisting of more than 3,000 pieces. Amazing artifacts from the Thracian times have been preserved in the Valley of the Thracian Kings near Cousin Luk. The astounding Thracian tomb of Cousin Luk is located there. It is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Its worldly significance is based on the remarkable murals, the best preserved paintings from the early Hellenistic age in Bulgaria. Notably, the murals in the Alexandrovo tomb near Haskovo are also well preserved. They represent the Thracian religious rituals, cults, imagination, lifestyle and clothing. In the royal tomb near Sveshtari village, another UNESCO object in Bulgaria, we can witness the sculptural artistry of the Thracians. Its inner room is decorated with female figures standing in a line. In the Iliad, Homer wrote the following about the Thracians. They joined the Trojans with their king Rhesus from the Edoni people in the Trojan War. The king's chariot was said to have been decorated with gold and the Thracian horses were whiter than snow and faster than the wind. After the death of every Thracian king, the grave was covered with a huge pile of earth. The mounds were regarded as doors to eternity where they performed the sacred rituals of the Orphic Mysteries. The Thracians used wine in these rituals. Again, 
Homer mentioned this famous wine on which both armies in the Trojan War relied to strengthen their powers. We have learned that the Thracians were famous wine producers from the archaeological finds both in Perperikon and in the temples from the Thracian religious complex near Sterosel. In this region of Srednagora, close to the town of Panagyrishte, the most perfect evidence of the magnificence of the Thracian civilization has been found. This is the Panagyrishte gold treasure, containing nine vessels of pure 23 karat gold, decorated with sophisticated embossed mythological scenes and messages. The Thracians used it for drinking wine during their religious rites and other rituals. But it is not unique. There are dozens of archaeological finds from the Thracians, such as Volchitran, Roguzen and Lednitsa treasures, or the one from the village of Borovo near Russe. All of them exhibited in the historical and archaeological museums all over the country are impressive with their exquisite craftsmanship praising the inspired human spirit, real and intransient shining symbols of the thousand-year-old Bulgarian land. According to some archaeological data, at the beginning of the 6th century BC, the Thracian treasures amounted to 260 tons of gold objects and coins. Thucydides, the Greek historian from the 5th century, said that the Odrysian kingdom is the largest in terms of state revenues and other resources. In Bulgaria, you can see numerous rich and unique traditions and traditional customs that have reached us from the time of the Thracians. Such are the cookery masquerade games in the winter. The fire dancing tradition is impressive in summer, dancing on glowing embers, which has a distant Thracian taste. Until today, fire dancing has been touched by mythology, and therefore UNESCO declared it a part of the world immaterial cultural heritage. Despite the existence of dozens of temples, hundreds of mounds and treasures, the history of ancient Thrace still remains mysterious and unfathomable. The Thracians did not leave any written evidence. However, their heroes and myths are still alive and their artistry shines with the purity of gold. In Bulgaria, a country that is worth discovering, visiting, feeling and experiencing.